Give me fuel, give me fire, give me double shot as Welcome to Darlington Raceway for the Rev and Go Southern 500. If there's a track known as a time capsule for stock car racing, then Darlington is. This race also marks the regular season finale with one race to go to see who will be the regular season champion and who will be competing for a championship. Let's take a look at our starting grid. In row 1, Cruz Ramirez in the pole for the second week in a row with Jaden McPillar. In row 2, Cal Weathers with a miserable finish back in Florida trying to claim his second win of the 2024 season along with Daniel Suarez starting in 4th place. In row 3, H.J. Hollis and Ryan Laney in his final chance on advancing to the playoffs since he is sitting outside of the cutoff line. In row 4, Conrad Camber and last week's winner Colin Bargain trying to go back to back. In row 5, Brian Spark also trying to be in the playoffs since he is in the edge of the cutoff line, and Steve LePage. In row 6, Master Dragon 4000 also in the same situation as Ryan Laney and Jackson Storm. In row 7, Lightning McQueen, the regular season leader and the spring race winner, Bubba Wheelhouse. In row 8, JP Drive and Chase Race Lot. In row 9, Bobby Swift and Jimmy Cables. And starting in row 10 are Phil Tankson and Brandon Power Car. Here's the race format, 19 laps, 25.84 miles around the 1.36 mile egg-shaped oval track and pit road speed is 50 miles per hour. The pace car is off to the pits, meanwhile we're ready to close the book for the regular season finale as we make history at Darlington Raceway for the Rev & Go Southern 500. Meanwhile, Jay McPillar and Cruz Ramirez leads every 18... Jay McPillar blown his engine. Guess they're gonna have to throw out the caution. And there's the yellow flag. What a way to start this race. Wow. It's not looking good for the number four and his team. Here's a look at what just happened. So the four, his engine just expired early. Too early against his other teammates, Master Dragon 4000 and Colin Bargain. Meanwhile, the outside row are trying to move out of the way. Here it is in full speed. Yep, the engine's like, I'm not going to give you a chance in winning at all. Here's an onboard with Ryan Laney. As you can see, the smoke it looks like it's coming out of the 019 of Daniel Suarez, but it's the 4. There it is. We'll be right back since Jake McPillar brings out the first caution of the night. Welcome back to the Red and Go Southern 500. We're ready to go back green next time by. The lights are off the pace car. Cruz Ramirez is in the lead. She led the first caution laps. Hmm, that's going to give her a benefit of trying to win the race. Well, we're not sure if he, she's going to win the race. Hmm, there's many potential winners unless if anybody could um, uh, try to make a mistake or if they... Um, uh, Need to go to Pitt Road. Cruz Ramirez trying to look for her second crown jewel win. Meanwhile, Cal Weathers trying to get his second win of the 2024 season. Hmm. It's going to be difficult to see who's the better car, Cal Weathers or Cruz Ramirez. Now we're about to restart double foul, so they're going to split two by two. So Weathers in the outside and Ramirez in the inside. The pace car is off to the pits as we get ready to go back green and start this race properly. 
Here's Cal Wetters and Cruz Ramirez leading everybody to the restart zone, and here we go. The green flag is back in the air here at Darlington Raceway. They say Hola side by side against the 42 of Cal Weathers. Cruz Ramirez still in the lead. They say Hola is trying to get that first win. He has not won all year. Cruz Ramirez defending first place. Now Cruz Ramirez leads lap six. And now we're into lap seven. Oh, Cruz is in the wall. Cal Weathers will try to pass the number 51. Many cars are getting the wall tonight because this track is pretty hard to tame. Now here's Lightning McQueen, the regular season champion, because nobody else could beat him now. Here's the playoff bubble. Ramirez currently is a first, so if she wins at Master Dragon 4000 sideways, no caution is out. Alright, as I'm saying, if Ramirez wins this race, she will um, uh, stay alive and she will get the second. Bobby Swift is in the wall. Alright, shoot. Cruz Mirrors will get that second win. That's what I was saying. Meanwhile, Brian Spark trying to defend his 10th place position in the playoffs. Master Dragon 4000 is trying to pass him. Now, Master Dragon 4000 needs to go far away as possible from the 52, and Cal Wetters is in the wall. Alright, get ready for the halfway jam. Alright, that is your halfway jam. Cruz Amir is still in the lead with 10 laps to go. Now we're about to cross this, that start finish line, and here we go with 9 laps to go. Cal Wetter still trying to battle out his teammate. Now Cruz is in the wall. Cal Wetter has that chance to lead the, the race, and now he's in the lead. Along with Conrad Camber in second place. Now Cruz Amir is a side by side against Blake McQueen. Jackson Storm is in the inside wall and clips the 24 of Chase Race a lot. That is the second caution of the night. The 24 has a lot of damage in the front nose and Storm damage in the back. Here's a look at what just happened. The 52 aggressively blocks the 20 and then the 20 slams the wall and then clips the 24 and hits that inside safer barrier. At least it's not a hard hit like what he experienced back in Florida last week. Here it is in full speed. Pow. In the front. Hopefully Chase Race like a race. That's a horrible hit for the 24. Here's Chase Race a lot. Following that 50 mile per hour speed limit, he's gonna have to repair the front of him. That's kind of weird saying he's gonna repair the front of himself. Alright, there he goes trying to find his pit box. And there it is. We're not gonna time that. And there he goes, without a hood. We're going to break since Chase Race Lot and Jackson Storm brings out the second caution of the night. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Rev and Go Southern 500. We're ready to go back green next time by. The lights are off the pace car, and Cal Wetters is going to lead the field back to the green flag since he was the first car up there before the caution came out. Hmm. Cal Wetters is trying to get a second win. 
2024 has not been nice to him since he was the defending champion of the 2023 season. So hopefully he does not flop this race. Light McQueen also trying to get his fifth win of the 2024 season. So if Light McQueen either finishes up or low, he'll still be the regular season champion. So it doesn't matter if he's all the way in the back or the front. He'll still be marked as the regular season champion. Alright, they're about to restart double foul. So Camber to the outside and Weathers to the inside. The pace car is off to the pits. Meanwhile, Conrad Camber and Cal Wetters is going to lead everybody back to the green flag. Here we go through that restart zone. The green flag is back in the air. Four laps to go here in the Rev and Go Sire 500. Conrad Camber trying to defend first place. Nope, Cal Wetters is back in first. A few cars are still in the wall. What? Weather's still in the lead against Lightning McQueen. Shay Bullet is also trying to look for that first win of the 2024 season, but that won't go to the playoffs because he is a few points behind. Yeah, he's way too low, so we're not going to do something dumb like Austin Dillon just going to the playoffs. It's just based off regular season points. Colin Bargain is in the wall. Cowwetter is still trying to hold off the, the team owner of Lightning McQueen and his teammate. Now here we go with two laps to go. Two more laps for Cowwetter's second career win and his truly authentic first win. By crossing that start finish line first with that checkered flag instead of just him finishing third and then getting that win. H. J. Hollis is trying to join the battle. He's gonna make it spicy for Lightning McQueen. Here we go! White flag is out. One more lap to go here in the Rev and Go Southern 500. Will H. J. Hollis try to claim this first win? Lightning McQueen is in the wall. Meanwhile, H. J. Hollis takes second place away from Lightning McQueen. Now coming out of turn number three and entering turn four for the final time. Cal Weathers will win the Rev and Go Southern 500. It's too late for H.J. Hollis to join the playoffs or win this race. Congratulations to Cal Weathers for winning the Rev and Go Southern 500. And guess Master Dragon 4000 has advanced to the playoffs. So he took that 10th place position away from Brian Spark and Ryan Laney. That was pretty clutch for the 41 team. Here are the official results. Brandon Power Car is the fastest car today, so that's a great comeback from starting from the back. Congratulations to Lightning McQueen for collecting 266 points and being the regular season champion. That concludes the regular season. Now we enter the postseason. Here's a look at the playoff standings after this race. We have 10 racers, so after the first three races of the playoffs, two will be eliminated when we go to the next round. Next week, we're about to kick off the round of 10 at Atlanta Motor Speedway for the Revolting 400 starting Wednesday, September 4th at 6 p.m. Eastern and 3 p.m. Pacific. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry for hearing my phone go off while commentating on this race. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the Kanika Hearn 27, signing out.